I have a confession. I am a romance novelist and I have never watched a single episode of Bridgerton. Um, so yeah, I really felt like I'm not interested and I'm not going to check it out. But uh, but then I had surgery on my shoulder. Yeah, this is not just a, a weird accessory. This is covering up my sling. Um, then I had surgery and uh, I got bored of a lot of things. And uh, a lot of my day is boring because I'm just sitting there with my arm. Just me, me and my arm, just living life together. So I thought today would be a perfect day uh, to try out Bridgerton. And that's what we're going to do. Shondaland. Okay. I think I had heard about that. Um, that was the same company that did that um, Starcrossed or whatever. Which I liked, but there was a guy on there that was always dressed like Dracula, and I never quite understood why that was. Get like sorrowful sounds. Yeah, no, I that's not how corsets work. Why do movies think Hi, that's how corsets work? <gasps> it's Atia! It's Atia of the Julii! <gasps> Does Atia of the Julii have a a another, like, nemesis in this? We are not very far into this. Honestly, this kind of thing is catnip to me, so... I... I'm gonna get sucked into this. There's like sideburns. The Queen. Why do I keep imagining that this is Julie Andrews? May God have mercy on their souls. Papa Featherington and Miss Penelope Featherington. Good heavens, are we to host all the Featheringtons in the county? It's the wee lesbian. If this turns into just like she's the butt of a bunch of fat jokes, I am out. Like, you got enough feathers? I don't know. I watch these like historical dramas and I think about like all the times I've been to palaces and things and like just how stuffy and hot and musty smelling palaces are like now, like with just a few tourists in them, not like with a bunch of people that live there full time. I feel like I could smell this scene and that's not an insult that's not me being like oh these people you know no i'm like this is really i feel like this could be there i feel like i could be there like it, it could really happen did that truly just happen did that really just happen have i actually understood no the brighter a lady shines the faster she may burn that is julie andrews right i'm not i mean I might be, but I mean, like, I'm pretty sure. This is Game of Thrones, but it's like, like, Barbie Game of Thrones. No, it's like if the Outlander credits and, um, Game of Thrones credits, uh, did what Anthony was doing up against a tree with that lady. Julie Andrews, see? I was right. Don't fuck with me. I know too much about Broadway. I, I really hope I'm not disappointed because I want this to be one of those cases where I resisted something and it turned out to be great. And rest assured, you never shall. But be forewarned, dear. Why didn't anybody mention to Julie Andrews that her her accent is already really posh? Like she didn't have to like kill the lily. And now two hundred young ladies have a common adversary. I wish you luck, sister. Eloise. What? It is true. My six. Oh, shit. Eloise was born 47 and divorced twice. Says, Ooh, here. Do not okay, so Eloise is she the one writing that pamphlet, right? I bet you fucking money that's that Eloise chick. He is taken from the market, the better for the other young lady. They're in that room with all that green wallpaper is gonna poison them. Shit. Is that part of it? Them dying of poisoning from that green wallpaper. The casting is really good because the wee lesbian looks like she really could be Atia's daughter. Like they they look a lot alike. Penelope is quite nervous. This shall be her very first season. I am not nervous, Mama. What she is is two stone heavier than she will. You shut your mouth. Quite difficult to conceal. Or perhaps some arsenic and lead might. Lick the wallpaper, bitch. 
hi. You also dress like Dracula, but uh, I'm fine with that. My condolences, your grace, for your father. Very kind of you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry that you're sad and I'm sitting here just like objectifying you. What's he doing, timing himself? <laughs> Record time. I just can't stop laughing at this fucking watch. Like, I know that eventually, now that we've seen it twice, the watch is gonna go off in the, you know, the second act, but... <laughs> yes, look how fast I can do it! Upon me. A significant juicy, no doubt. Someone must guard so they are pulling the Game of Thrones, you know, have sexy naked people on TV so you can explicitly tell the audience what's happening. Look at I'm Anthony Bridgerton. I'm like, I'm like... See how fast I can do it? Yeah! Flower. We grow them in our very own garden. I must show you my watercolors sometime, if you desire to see them. And she's quite- Is that Ariana Grande? Bacon, eggs, bacon, eggs. I'm so fucking grateful for my eggs. Look what he taught me. Yeah, for that I say bacon. Eggs, bacon, oh, eggs. I'm so fucking grateful for my eggs. Yeah, I have to sing it that way because what my husband thought she was saying and now it'll never leave my mind. I can't focus on any of this because I'm listening to how cool the song sounds. I haven't had the pleasure of seeing you at our club lately, Ambrose. She didn't have anything to do with the unpaid balance you left on our betting books when to last. I missed it because I was listening to the song, I guess. Whatever. I see. I see what he was doing. He was like being like, hey, don't be into that guy. Because he doesn't pay for shit. Oh. Well. I don't recognize this song, so if this is a song, I don't recognize it. He wore red. Because he doesn't give a fuck. That's what I'm... Yeah. I would recognize him anyway. Why are they all dressed in like a theme? Like step one to not look weird at this fucking party. Don't come dressed as a theme. Oh, she's so like delicate. What is it like? Delicate people out there, is it scary? Because like I'm I'm sturdy. I'm a sturdy person. And uh I feel like if I was like delicate, like I would feel maybe scared sometimes. If Oh, come on, man. Miss Bridgerton. A moment, please. No, you gotta stop and be like, yo. How much money you got? <laughs> Do you have a big house like Pemberley? It's the Duke of Hastings, now known forevermore. Oh, the Duke of Hastings? You're like, congrats, your dad's dead. If anyone knows how this works, it is your eldest brother. I'd be like, yeah, you're not married. Where's your ring, bitch? Boss my ass around? So wait, they just have to like be sitting around in case a guy wants to come and like propose to them or something? As such, an even rarer jewel of only the most remarkable brilliance, fire, and luster. I don't recognize this, but this is a song, right? Is this Taylor Swift? Oh, it's not Ariana Grande because I'd be embarrassed if it was another Ariana Grande, and I love her so much. Has anyone else read what Lady Whistledown has written? She's like, has anybody gone and read my blog today? Season. Lady Whistledown has made her opinion of our dear sister's fortunes quite clear. Well, enough about Lady Whistledown. Shut up about your blog, Eloise. Um, uh, come in. May like, I Lord Burbrook? Fresh you get lost? What are you doing here? Eloise, are you not due for a visit with Penelope this morning? I believe I should like to stay. I believe you should like to go. That girl is 39 years old and freezing her eggs. Like, from birth. She came out of the womb, like, already feeling away about the term geriatric pregnancy. That's how old that little girl is. Now. You speak as if Lady Whistledown were to be held in higher regard than Her Majesty the Queen herself. <laughs> no, he's Lady Whistledown. You are the firstborn Bridgerton of the firstborn Bridgerton nine times over. Where is you? I want to touch their faces. 
I'm in possession of something that you are not. And a land speed record for fucking. She made quite an impression. However fleeting it may have been. That's not very nice. She's very young. She's a, a young lady and you're should be nicer. I don't know. I just the the moms and the older ladies in this show I want to protect the girls from them. Like, she's getting bullied by a lady, too. The lady she's staying with is bullying her. Atia of the Julii is bullying her. Like, all the grown-up ladies in this are very mean to the girls. thinking about me at all. It is simply surprising. Yes, however is it possible for a lady to offer anything but a smile? I'm sorry, this is unrealistic. I can't believe any woman could sit next to that guy and him being Mr. Darcy the way he's being Mr. Darcy actually, actually pull off an Elizabeth Bennet like this. Desperate. I shall have you know. To marry, that is. Tell me I'm wrong. She's like, I gotta listen, I gotta write this tomorrow in my blog. <laughs> Ye old blog. You were a perfectly reasonable mother until your eldest daughter I came of They should have had him roll up his sleeves. He should be doing this with his sleeves rolled up. He's gonna get ink on his sleeves, and it would be more attractive for me, because I like to see a nice rolled up sleeve on a dude. A young woman who is terrified. Because she knows what kind of life, what, what kind of future awaits her should you continue to get in her way. She told him to watch his tone. Mom is mad. I cannot see you anymore. He's like, he's like, I'm going pro. I can beat those time trials now. It should seem that all of Grosvenor Square has been Oh my god! Her back is like, is her back like bloody? Or does the actress have like a birthmark? Were they showing us that her back is bloody from a corset? Because it would help if you would like fucking put the underwear on that goes underneath it. She is ill. My mama had to stay home with her. They could make all these fantastical costumes and then they still put the fat girl in something that looks like it got cut off of like a 1991 like couch. You know, your aunt that had that couch with a doily on the back. I can see why people like this. This is very tropey. So the wigs on this show are tragic. Was that even possible at the time that this is supposed to be? I'm not, I don't know a lot about technology, but it feels like that might be anachronistic. I know they were listening to Ariana Grande. What should any of you You're to marry him. Nigel. I had to find your husband, sister. No. Yeah. Be grateful it is. You haven't bled. It's been over a month since your arrival. And you haven't bled. Oh, so... That's what she was looking for in the bed. I was like, what a weird little scene that was earlier. This is so tropey that I feel like she's gonna run into somebody. Are you doing? Like he's gonna like try to take liberties with her. Now. You know what Nigel. I mean? And then like the Duke is gonna save her. It's so tropey. Like I see why people like it. It's so tropey. Yep. Just hope. No one wants you as Bridget. What are you doing? We'll find out soon enough. Stop it! Indeed. I must go this way. You through those trees. Perhaps there is an answer to our collective Lady Whistle dance. Oh, they're gonna get ruined. They're gonna go get ruined. Oh wait, they're just gonna walk together. They're not gonna get ruined. <gasps> Fake dating! We could pretend to form an Fake dating. Gosh, I hope you don't accidentally fall in love. Oh, man. If this is to work, you must appear madly in love. The 
This is exactly the kind of thing I like, by the way. Is brother gonna be mad? Is brother gonna be upset? Okay. Okay, I'm in. Okay, that's cute. It's exactly what I like. I think I read a book that was similar to it, but not exactly that. Uh, that I didn't care for. Maybe I would like those books after all. I don't know. But right now, let's just go ahead, since I haven't read a book in a million years now, um, since like January, uh, why don't we just go ahead and like, I'll just keep, you know, watching the series. That'll be my thing. I'll, I'll watch. Okay, it got me. It won me over. So far. So far. 